Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about anatomy of monocot stem. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So when we talk about the monocot stem anatomy, uh, we should say some layers. So first is the outermost layer that is epidermis. So this brown color layer is the epidermis that is the outermost layer. And this epidermis layer is covered by a thin layer of cuticle. So cuticle means it is having some waxy materials. So this cuticle is covering the epidermis and this epidermis layer contains few trichomes and stomata. So stomata are some openings and these trichomes are some hair like structures. And next is hypodermis. This yellow color layer is hypodermis. So this hypodermis is present just below the epidermis. And this hypodermis layer contains sclerenchymata cells. Next to hypodermis, you can find the vascular bundles. So vascular bundles are composed of xylem and phloem. And here you can see that large number of vascular bundles are scattered here and there. And each of them is surrounded by a layer that is called bundle sheath. And this bundle sheath contains sclerenchymata cells. Now these vascular bundles are conjoined. That means the vascular bundle contains both xylem and phloem. So the xylem is this, this red color one and the phloem is this green color one. So both are joined together. So we can say that vascular bundles are conjoined and they are closed because v between xylem and phloem they do not have any cambium. So cambium is present in dicot stem between xylem and phloem but here you will not get any cambium between them and we call this type of arrangement closed vascular bundles. Now the peripheral vascular bundles you can see these are generally smaller than the centrally located ones because centrally located vascular bundles are bigger in size. In vascular bundles you can find some water cavities and apart from these vascular bundles here you will get ground tissue. So all the cells that are found in between these vascular bundles are called ground tissue. So ground tissue is actually very large and conspicuous tissue. Conspicuous means this is very much distinct and this ground tissue contains parenchymata cells. So this is all about today's lecture. Hope you understood the session. Thank you.